okay, we're going to start a new web page. And I'm going to save it as web page with links dot html. Make sure you get the dot html file in there. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to copy one of my old ones that I had because you might as well use your copy and paste feature. Paste that in there. Okay, and then I'm going to look to see I had a header in here. So you're going to want to look for the what uh, the one that you guys did the headers with. It said like header one. This is an example of a header one. Okay. Now you had up here in yours, you had this is an example of a header one. But we're going to get rid of it and you're going to say this is my web page with links and email address. I'm going to go ahead and hit return. We are going to come in here and we are going to put the link in here. So I'm going to do bracket and in my bracket comes up A. I'm going to type in H and then we're looking for H R E F H R E F. And then I like how it comes up with the programming for you equals and it says quote end quote. So in the quote, I'm going to my website address, http colon forward slash forward slash www.misscohane.com. And then at the end of the quote, you have to close your brackets. And when it closed the brackets, notice how it came up with the ending. It said bracket forward slash a, so it did the ending for you. So let's hit our um, preview. I notice this, this is my web page with links and email address, but it doesn't have the web page link on there. Okay, so we're going to come back in here, and now I'm going to write in Miss Colhane's website. I'm going to save it, Command S, come back here, and you'll notice that it's in there right now. So now you have your web page with a link. So why don't we go ahead and practice this, and let's add in another link. Like you could just make it your favorite web page, whatever you want. Again, bracket A, and I'm going to type H, and href comes up, and it comes up with all of this. So maybe one of the ones I like would be like www.youtube.com. And you close the bracket, and as you close the bracket, then the ending a tag comes up, it says bracket forward slash A. And if I save this command S, notice that it's not showing up here. That's because I need to write in there YouTube link. And now that YouTube link is in there. But did you also notice it's all on the same line? Do you remember which code we used? So it's not all on the same line? If you remember it, go ahead and put it in. I'll tell you at the end what that is. Okay, and now we're going to add in an email address. So I'm going to type in brackets a. So I'm going to type in a href, and I'm going to type in. I'm going to put mail to colon, and I'm going to put an email address. K callhane at aurora k12 dot org. And then I need to close that bracket. And now I'm going to save it, Command S, use your shortcuts. And as you can see, you don't see that up here. Well, that's because we need to come in here and we need to write email Miss Colhane. And then you can see that it's there. But again, look, it's all on the same line. So think back to the HTML that you've learned. Why is it all on the same line? What do you need to put in there to make it so that it's not all on the same line?